Hi everybody, my name is Stephen Ferry. Welcome to my channel, Perfectly Homeless. Today I'm going to talk about a problem that I had. I couldn't get my sunroof to close. I had to kind of screwed it up by propping things in there and closing it to hold them in place like my fan or I have some thin screens that I was using to do and I pretty much uh, made the thing go off balance and it would no longer close properly. Uh, I figured it out when I was driving down a highway and I couldn't get it to seal up. I heard a lot of wind noise and I'm thankful that I figured it out before it rained because uh, I was able to close it before it rained. Uh, there was a lot of different methods on YouTube on closing these. Uh, not too many in the Honda and Acura department because uh, I guess it doesn't happen that often, which kind of tells me what I did was bad. Don't do that to your sunroof. So in uh, Acura, the division of a Honda that's a little more high end, they use the, the sunroof motor is actually right up here in the console next to the reading lights, the sunglass holder, and the home link, and the garage door opener. On my Honda, the motor is actually about 20 centimeters behind the sunroof opening. And in Acuras, when they do put it back there, they'll actually make a little port that you can pop a screwdriver in there and untwist a little cover, and it'll give you access to that motor. And they will even give you like a Z-shaped key in the toolbox to get up there and crank that guy closed. But Honda, for some reason, didn't do it. In fact, they didn't even leave an access to it. So I cut a hole in my headliner, and I don't have a problem with that because my headliner was falling apart anyway which is a problem with Hondas, I don't know why. So what I did is I stuck it up in there and I kind of looked at it and uh, thankfully I actually had the right tool to do it in my bag. Uh, this is basically a socket with an extension and this is a, uh, a hex key, I think it's five millimeter. And I bought a set of these for something a long time ago and just happened to be in the bottom of my tool bag. So basically you go back there and I made a video that it was dark and it's not that great, but you can stick this up there and kind of crank it closed and this will eventually go very closed. I was able to get it kind of sealed up, but then again, it leaked that night. So I was going to actually use some weather seal and seal it up completely, but then I realized I could just do this and keep it open and closed. Um, we don't get that much rain where I am, so. Take a look at the video. Uh, if you like it, give me the thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me another thumbs up. So see you later. Have fun. Bye.